that is, I mean, a process that is in course. We are in our small, in our uh, little group, how do you say in good English? The Circuli, Circuli Minores. At the, the first week, there was a lot of disease among us and opposition that had been fed from outside. So first week I had the impression that oppositions had been uh, nourished before the Synod. So it takes a, not only a couple of days, but a couple of weeks before discussion gets more open and more frank. And that also it is more, a more fruitful discussion with more results that are, the, I mean, that we share together. I was elected by the Bishops' Conference of Belgium to represent the Bishops' Conference. The Pope afterwards, he added two more, two more people from Belgium, Cardinal Daniels and Bishop Van Looy of Ghent. But I am here on behalf of the Bishops' Conference. So that's the formal side of the question. I mean, as to the contents for me as a bishop, family life, marriage life, in all the different ways it exists now in our modern society is for me a primary issue. So it's true that what people live, their personal feelings, their joys and also their sad feelings, they are primarily related to their family life, their private life. And for the church it always has been a primary concern to deal with people not only in their public life but first of all in their personal lives, their family lives. Now, what I feel as a bishop is that people, they are just waiting to discuss this, to speak about it with their bishops. They are waiting for an, an open discussion, for, I mean, a, a, a listening ear from their bishops. In preparation of the Synod already two years ago, they came to me and they asked me also, but we, Bishop, what do you think about all these, the, the Synod and these preparations? So some, they forced me to say not only what the church was thinking about it or the bishops, but you personally, what is your idea about all this? So then, well, I wrote a text to, to say what, what my feelings were. And that helped me a lot afterwards in going further in this dialogue with them. Well, I think it should be useful not only on the theoretical level, but on the level of pastoral life. All of us, we are returning home. So the purpose is not to stay here weeks or months longer, but the purpose is for each and every bishop to return in his local church, in his country, in his continent. And it is there that the life of the church is what it has to be. So what I hope is that the bishop from Africa, he can return to Africa with the good news of the gospel. And I have to return to Belgium with the good news of the gospel. So that people, they may, let us say, feel that the church is with them in all these different particular circumstances. So what we need here is not general answers to general questions, because these answers often they are useless. But we need answers or a common commitment or a common, yeah, a common commitment of the bishops all together so that they can do in their local churches what is necessary there to preach the gospel, to bring people closer to Jesus Christ and to relate them in a new way to the local community of the Christians.